hey guys welcome back to the channel so good to see you here okay if it's your first time here hi i'm chidera and we can be friends just make sure to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you get notified whenever i post something new um in this video i'm going to be detailing how we got over twenty thousand pounds free money and upgrade for our house and i'm also going to detail how we went about saving to buy our first house in the uk so make sure to sit back and watch the entire video so you get the tea on how we're able to save our deposit and buy our first house within two years without further ado you know how we do it here let's get started <laughs> So the very first thing that we did was to get our finances in order okay so the very first step of that was familiarizing ourselves with the house buying process just like you're doing right now so one of the things we did was to start watching videos on how to buy a house in the uk watching the stories of different people the challenges they had what they did what they did not do so that's one key thing that we did we watched videos on youtube tiktok you know wherever wherever i just saw how to buy a house mortgage my ear is there i was listening because i needed to fully understand the process now the second thing that we did was to then figure out the price of the house that we wanted we knew that the house we wanted was between 300 to 400 thousand we knew we could not go above 400 thousand for our budget for what we wanted so once we determined that we then determined what, what percentage of the deposit we wanted to save we knew that at a minimum we wanted to have 10 percent deposit at a minimum right so we started saving towards that and, and we came up with a strategic plan on how to save towards that and one key thing to note here is um with a more mortgage the higher the deposit you have the better the interest rates you get on your mortgage so for example if you have like 15 percent deposit you you might get a slightly better interest rate so meaning lower interest rates so which means you're not paying so much more back in interest on the mortgage than someone who has like 10 percent deposit or someone who has five percent deposit so the higher the deposit you have the better the interest rates you might be able to secure from the banks so the second thing that we did was to build our credit once we agreed that we wanted to buy a house we knew we needed to have credit history in this country if you're new here and you don't know i came to this country as a student as an international student and afterwards i stayed back got a job on you know, all of that like, um prior to getting the house i did not have like a solid credit history in the uk so i knew i needed to build that even jason as well needed to build some things that were still like some lapses that we both had with our credits so one of the first things that we did was Obviously to register on the electoral roll so register to vote at the house where you live we did that to get our credit up and then the other thing we did which we were already doing anyway was to stay on top of our bills so we're never late with any bill we paid all our bills on time sometimes even when the money did not go out so i'll tell jason call them ask them all because i don't want like we don't want any dents in our credit um score so another thing that we did was to get a credit card which honestly is a bit um you know there are different school of thoughts regarding this that you might not necessarily need a credit card to build your credit score but we got credit cards and that's because we needed like a fast way to build our credit and that was one of the things that we realized we could do so we got the cards and we ensured that our utilization was under 30 percent so meaning for example if the value of the credit card is one thousand pounds we do not spend more than 300 pounds on that card because the more you spend on your credit card the more it signals to lenders that you are very dependent dependent on credit which means like you don't have enough money that you're using so much credit to run your life so you want to ensure that your like util your utilization is like under 30 percent once again this is not financial advice this is me just sharing like what we did what worked for us with the hopes that you will learn one or two things from it and then apply it to your own situation another thing to mention here is that we always paid our credit card in full not the minimum balance so when you're using a credit card you can either choose to pay the entire money you're owing on that credit card or you just want to pay the minimum balance every bank has like a different minimum balance we always cleared it out at the end of every month so basically we reset the card back to zero and then spend out of it again and reset it every month just to avoid accruing interest and honestly it's just a good uh, money practice to have so the next thing that we did was to open up a lifetime individual savings account i had gotten so many comments about this in my video on the step-by-step -step process of how we bought a house if you've not seen it check it out it will be linked up here so yes we use a lifetime individual savings account and we opened this account on money box this video is not sponsored by money box in any way i'm just mentioning what we use um so what is a lifetime isa it's also called lifetime isa what is it it is an individual savings account that you can use to save for your first house in the uk or for pensions 
so in in order to open this account you have to be resident in the uk and you have to be under the age of 40 if you're more than 40 you can't open this account also you have to be a first time buyer in the uk so if you've never bought a property you can open a lifetime isa it's very easy to open it's just a few clicks here and there and the account will be created for you now the good thing about this account is that we got about four thousand pounds from the government free money so how it works is every year every tax year precisely the tax year in the uk runs from april to april so every tax year you're allowed to put four thousand pounds into this account and then the government will give you 25 percent on top of that 25 percent is one thousand pounds so that means every tax year you're putting four thousand you get one thousand from the government um to save towards buying your first home but of course there are limitations to this account the very first thing is you can only use this money here to buy a house so before you open the account you need to be very certain that the money there is money you're going to use to buy a house before you open it another thing is the value of the house you're buying must not be more than four hundred and fifty thousand pounds if it's more than that you can't really use your lifetime isa to purchase it it's also for first time buyers only another very important thing to mention is before you can withdraw from this account you must have had the account opened for 12 months something you can do if you want to you know use this account at some point and you don't have money yet you can open the account and just deposit like 10 pounds so that you can start counting from that point that the account is open because it will take 12 months before you can withdraw out of that account to buy your house or to buy a house okay another question that i saw in the previous video is people asking if you can put in the entire four thousand pounds once you open the account yes that was literally what we did when we opened when the lifetime isa so we both open separate lifetime isas which is something that i think is really cool so if you're buying a house with your husband or your partner your girlfriend your boyfriend whatever and each of you are first time buyers you can both open lifetime isa separately so how we that's how we got four thousand pounds in total i got two thousand pounds he got two thousand pounds so that was four thousand pounds in total so you can have separate um lifetime isas and save into it and once you open the account you can put in the full four thousand pounds at once if you have it or if you want to like set up like direct debits or be paying into it as you can until you get to four thousand a year and after that you're not to contribute any more to that account another thing to mention here is that with this lifetime isa right if you withdraw the money from this account for something else other than a house you'll be hit with a 25 percent penalty charge so for example what that means is if you put like one thousand pounds into this account and you decide oh you don't use it and buy a house you don't take your money out what you'll be able to withdraw out will be around like 800 and something pounds so you need to think about it you can take your money out like if you decide you don't want to buy a house but you're going to lose money so you're going to get less money than you actually put in so it's worth really thinking about it and be sure that that money is gonna be for a house and once you're ready to buy a house the money will not be sent to your account so you have to provide the solicitor so the lawyer that's helping with your mortgage they would now pay that money into the lawyer's account like the money because the bonus the government have given you they'll pay to the lawyer so it's not like you will get the money out to pay for a house no the only time you can get the money out yourself is if you are withdrawing it for something else that is not a house but if you're saying it's a house you must provide lawyer's account and then they will pay into the lawyer's account so what noting that another thing to state here is currently we're still in a tax year that is about to end the tax year the current tax year will end up obviously at the end of march and reset in april so if you open a lifetime isa now and actually pull like four thousand pounds you will get the one thousand pounds still in this tax year and then in april it will reset so that's something that helped jason and i so we got like two bonuses within the span of 12 months because we opened it at almost at the end of one tax year and then put money into it and then when the tax year reset we got another like bonus on the next four thousand that we put inside so that's something that you definitely might want to consider doing if you do that right now before march and put in four thousand you will get the one thousand and then by next year like january you already have two thousand pounds from the government and you've only had that account open for like 12 months so that's something that might be worth doing that's a hack that you can try so you're welcome <laughs> if you decide not to withdraw the money for a house or you decide not to also withdraw the money for yourself you can leave that money there for pensions it can be converted towards your pension so when you're like 60 or so you can withdraw the money for pension so just know that the thing that we did was to prioritize savings okay so once we determined we want to save at least 10 percent for the house and then we also opened our lifetime isa once we maxed out the lifetime isa meaning four thousand here four thousand like we've maxed it out we also had like a savings spot for the house if you watch my other video where we detailed all the costs associated with buying a house you see that there are so many expenses um <laughs> to bear in mind so we had a separate pot and we're saving money there as well and one thing i want to say here is that we saved in a house 
high interest savings account. So a high interest savings account means your money is earning money. So like the one I we were on when it was about 4.6, 4.5% um, return, annual return on the money in that account. If you have a huge chunk of savings, it's better to put it in, in a high interest savings account because you're getting money on your money than leaving it in a regular bank account that is not doing anything. And I have a detailed video on how to create a high interest savings account on Monzo, for example, if you already have that um, bank account. Link in the description box below. I share that video on my TikTok. You can check it out. It will be linked in the description box below how to create like a high interest savings account on Monzo if that's something you want to do. So that was something we did. We had that high interest savings account and we're saving towards it for other things that we needed for the house and also just to also save up more money towards our deposit. Basically, that's it. We had like a port, saving spot, and then we also had a lifetime ISA. I hope that makes sense. Another thing that I'm not going to deny that actually helped us, kept us towards saving for our new house. So I was blessed enough to get a job promotion. And obviously, the amount you earn also determines how much the bank will be willing to loan you. So um, getting a job raise definitely improved the mortgage offers that we got, improved the amount that we could take out from a bank in terms of a mortgage. So that's something that also contributed towards like... Um, helping us save. Okay, so let's move to the second part of this video, which is how we got all that money Because I said we got almost 20,000 pounds free money in total The first one was the 4,000 pounds from the lifetime ISA between the both of us The second one is something called a deposit scheme So the developers that we used to buy a house they run a deposit scheme That's because the prices of house are so high Not a lot of people are willing to buy houses like before developers tend to give incentives like give things that will make people want to buy the house or contribute towards their deposit so our, our developers for the property we're in they were doing a five percent deposit contribution five percent so meaning if you had ten percent they'll add five percent of the value of the the price of the house towards your deposit so in total you now have 15 percent if you had five percent they'll still give you five percent that means you have ten percent so basically they were giving five percent contribution towards your deposit and that would help you get better rates from the banks and also like lower interest rates so that was really, really really good and we're just so blessed to be able to find that <laughs> we're giving a five percent deposit from the developers which added to our own like deposit savings that we had and really boosted us up and then something to note here is that after we got our house i think they took away the deposit scheme for this particular development that we're in so we're really lucky to get in so it's something you might also google like google like deposit um, scheme five percent deposit schemes as you're looking for houses because you might find some developers that are still offering um this incentive another thing that we got from our developers is something called an upgrade um, we got the kitchen upgrade and we got the floor. So new builds do not come with the floor already done. Like usually you would have to pay for that. But we got it as an add-on. Our developers added it as an add-on. We didn't have to pay for the floors. We only had to pick the floors we wanted and we did not have to pay for that. But some people actually... Pay. Not even something, most people pay for the floors. Another thing is the kitchen upgrade. Kitchen upgrade means that we got an integrated kitchen. Not all new builds come with an integrated kitchen. So ideally, we would have had to pay about 3,000 something pounds for that, but they gave it to us free. Okay, so what it means is that the fridge is integrated in the cupboards. We got like a washing machine. We got like a washing machine from them. We also got like a dishwasher from them. And then the backsplash in the kitchen, we also got that from them. And then the counter top we got an upgrade for the countertop as well and also the lights i'm gonna put a video of it we got lights under the cabinet that was included in our upgrade so all of that we got it for free if you if you check out um some new build videos you'll see that these things do not come as an like come for free usually or in most cases you have to pay for it we did not have to pay for the kitchen upgrade but we know people in this environment as well where we stay that had to pay for that so we're just really lucky i think i'll just call it nice timing you get that we got the upgrade and we also got the deposits came towards our how so that's amazing so yeah that's everything that's how we saved and that's how we got like free money free upgrades i hope this video helps let me know if you have any other questions regarding getting a mortgage or buying a house you can leave it in the comments below and i'll try my possible best to answer as many as i can so we have come to the end of this video thank you so much for watching make sure to like subscribe and share till the next video guys bye bye <laughs>